Welcome to the channel and today we'll be breaking down some facts about Kamikaze and Revival to reveal if Kamikaze was indeed a comeback for Eminem commercially. It's no secret that Kamikaze has been viewed by many fans and critics as a better album than Revival and today we'll be revealing some key stats about the two albums to get you up to speed. If you followed what clueless critics on mainstream publications had to say about Kamikaze, you'd expect Kamikaze to be a huge flop. The Hollywood Reporter described Kamikaze as the work of an aging artist trying and failing to remain relevant. Billboard reviewed Kamikaze as Eminem blaming everyone except himself. Stereogum even took things further by calling Kamikaze Eminem's best album in more than a decade only to turn around and say it still sucks. And my personal favorite is from Vulture that said who'll be to blame when Kamikaze fails to outsell Revival. It's all good because these publications just reveal to the public that they shouldn't be taken seriously. And despite their claims to be industry experts, they know nothing about the music industry. Before we dive into the facts, remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn on notifications. Yeah. Globally, Revival opened with sales of 602,000 equivalent album units sold first week, of which 267,000 were from the United States alone. Furthermore, in the United States, Revival sold 197,000 pure copies in its first week, and overall, Revival's 267,000 equivalent album units sold first week in the United States were enough to make Eminem's proclaimed flop album the third best hip hop opening of the year in the United States, and globally, it was also the third biggest hip hop album by first week sales. On the other hand, Kamikaze opened with sales of 633,000 equivalent album units sold first week, of which 434,000 equivalent units were from the United States alone. In addition, of this figure, 252,000 were pure album sales in the United States and in terms of first week sales, Kamikaze may not have completely obliterated Revival's numbers worldwide, but based on the fact that it was a surprise album, this is indeed a huge step in the right direction for Eminem's career. Worldwide, it was 602,000 compared to 633,000 sold for Kamikaze, but the margin in the United States was huge. Kamikaze, despite lacking physical copies or any promotion, moved 434,000 units compared to Revival's 267,000 units, and this is more than enough reason for Eminem to retain this strategy for his next album. With Revival, critics had time to pan the album even before it released and many popular media journalists even considered the album to be trash based on the initial reveal of the tracklist on social media. For first week sales, Kamikaze is the clear winner of the two albums on all fronts. Kamikaze posted higher overall sales in its first week, higher pure album sales in its first week, and even higher streaming equivalent sales in its first week. So regardless of your chosen standard, Kamikaze is the clear winner. Globally, both Kamikaze and Revival were the number one best-selling album in the world on their release week, but Kamikaze took things further and achieved this feat for three weeks. Three weeks as the number one best-selling album in the world might sound like an easy feat when you don't have an idea of how difficult this is to achieve, but for reference, think of all the overhyped and promoted hip-hop albums that have released in 2018. Now, only one hip-hop album has spent more weeks as the best-selling album in the world than Kamikaze. Kamikaze was the best-selling album in the world for three weeks, and for an artist considered to be aging and failing to remain relevant, facts like this should be enough to tell you all you need to know about the quality of media journalists these days. In the United Kingdom, Kamikaze even set a record for hip-hop albums released in the past five years by spending a record four weeks at number one in the country. To compare, Revival spent one week at number one in the United Kingdom, but Eminem's surprise album Kamikaze outperformed Revival based on this metric. To put things in perspective, we've covered two major metrics so far and Kamikaze has dominated Revival in both of them. This is an artist that is supposedly trying and failing to remain relevant, yet Kamikaze has spent more weeks as the best-selling album in the world than nearly every hip-hop album that has released in 2018, and so far, only one hip-hop album has performed better. Motherfuckers talking crazy, yeah. saying I should quit, yeah. I fucking tell them me, bitch. Since I only have pure sales figures for the United States, this round will be based on pure album sales figures in the United States alone, and latest sales estimates for Revival shows it has now sold 400,000 pure copies in the United States since it released in December 2017. 
Of course, by Eminem standards, this is terrible, but we cannot ignore industry trends as a whole and to put things in perspective, 400,000 pure album sales may be terrible based on Eminem's historical records, but based on recent trends, 400,000 is actually excellent. For instance, the biggest hip-hop album of the year based on equivalent sales despite being a double album has only managed to sell 310,000 pure copies in the United States. And remember, this is a double album with one sale counting as two, which halves the number to 155,000 when number of purchases are counted. Revival is now at 400,000 pure copies sold and Kamikaze once again shows that Eminem is still at the top of the rap game. Kamikaze in just over 3 months has now sold 462,000 pure copies in the United States which makes Kamikaze the best selling hip hop album of the year in the United States. All this is achieved without bundles or merchandise add-ons and the closest hip hop album to Kamikaze in terms of pure sales has been known to inflate sales using bundles and merchandise sales. For albums released in 2018, Kamikaze is also the second best selling album of the year overall and was only recently surpassed by a Star is Born soundtrack album. So now to refresh your memories about my favorite brain dead critic from Vulture, what happens if Kamikaze doesn't outsell revival? Who will be to blame then? Leave your thoughts about this in the comment section below. I built this with Revival, many Eminem fans turned their back on Eminem and got played by the popular narrative set by critics before the album released. I have seen several comments under my videos about how months later, some fans now believe Revival is actually not as bad as critics made it out to be, and the reason for this is because the smoke has cleared. One thing I have also noticed about negative comments about Revival is that they often appear to be copy and pasted criticisms, and plagiarized versions of what media journalists said about the album from the beginning. Group thinking definitely affected Revival's sales but the album still managed to sell 1,074,000 equivalent units in its first 4 weeks on the market worldwide. This is considered a flop by Eminem standards, but this is still a better performance than most hip-hop albums that released after it. In fact, excluding Kamikaze, only 3 hip-hop albums that released after Revival have sold more in their first month and Eminem wasn't bluffing when he said his greatest flops are your biggest hits and this applies to the entire hip-hop genre and not just man bun. Kamikaze on the other hand, despite being a surprise album, sold 1,252,000 equivalent units worldwide in its first 4 weeks on the market. Remember, critics collectively reported that Eminem is an aging artist that is trying and failing to remain relevant, yet Kamikaze in its first 4 weeks sold more copies than any other hip hop album released in 2018 except Drake's double album, Scorpion. This is based on equivalent sales and despite dominating pure album sales, Eminem's Kamikaze also dominated other hip hop albums released in 2018 based on total equivalent sales. If you still believe Eminem should retire with figures like this, then you do society a favor by excluding yourself from the equation and saving Earth's resources. So far, Kamikaze has dominated revival on all metrics. First week sales, first week pure sales, number of weeks at number one, overall pure album sales, first month overall sales, and now we move on to the final metric in this video. Here we go again from heroes to villains. Used to be yo, go me yo. Overall, Eminem's revival album proclaimed to be a flop has sold just over 2 million equivalent units worldwide and currently, sales for revival are moving at a snail's pace compared to Kamikaze. Revival just hit one year on the market and has sold just over 2 million equivalent units worldwide but Kamikaze is right on its heels despite being less than 4 months old. Kamikaze's most recent sales estimate put it at 1.93 million equivalent units sold worldwide and based on its sales trend, will most likely outsell revival on the first week of January. So basically, unless the world ends before January 2019, Kamikaze will outsell Revival after spending 4 months on the market. Commercially speaking, this is a huge step in the right direction for Eminem's career and based on the fact that Eminem has been at the top for nearly 20 years, this is even more impressive. On all metrics, even including the heavily biased critical reception, Eminem's Kamikaze album has topped Revival so far and even managed to earn itself a few records on the way. For one, in less than 3 months, it was already the best selling hip hop album of the year in the United States based on pure sales and pure sales is still the most accurate representation of how the market sees the value of an album. You can agree with, disagree with or ignore it, but facts don't care about what you feel. Eminem's Kamikaze will likely double revival sales in the next couple of years and if you enjoy the content of this channel, consider donating to our PayPal at the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, leave your thoughts in the comments section below and remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this.